<laughs> Greetings, denizens in the digital world. It is I, the Zero Killer, coming to you on day 35? 36 of the year of vlogging dangerously. Again, another slightly displaced day today. Wow. I do these a lot when I'm on my days off. I get into a point where normal sleep for me is not normal. I woke up at a reasonable time, but I passed the fuck out until about midnight. So, yeah, a little bit late. But it's still suggested Sunday because it's my Sunday. You know what? My days are different than yours. That's the way it is. I don't live on PST. I live on Steve ST. Okay? Yeah, that's the way it is. Um, so, suggestive Sunday. Uh, let's see. We got, what, book, film... And TV series? Yeah, okay. Book of the day. Um, well, it's not something I suggest to anybody else, I guess. It's just what I'm reading right now. Um, yeah, I'm reading Shadowrun material. Because, uh, well, Shadowrun's a post-apocalypse role-playing game that I uh, collect the books for even though I don't regularly play anymore. I technically run a game on Tuesdays, but the game has been kind of spotty at best. Uh, because of tenants and stuff for the games nights at the Fleet Club, but uh, I'm reading their conspiracy theories book because I always love these kind of these, as they call them, uh, fluff books, where it's got all the the fiction and everything. The whole book is essentially just fiction that expands upon the world. So it's it's essentially like reading a, a really weird disjointed series of message boards. It's like reading the internet in an alternate reality is the way they've done this uh, in an alternate future. Or it could be the real future, but if it was the real future, then in the past, last year, there should have been a crazy magic awakening and everybody would have had magic. And as far as I don't know, uh, no, no flames are coming out of my hands. Uh, I'm not able to levitate things. I've tried. It doesn't work. Uh, Buddha hasn't talked to me recently, but that's because we had a falling out, not because of the fact that I can't talk to inanimate objects. Um, let's see. So that's that's what I'm reading right now. Um, the other book I'm reading is Boomerang. Boomerang is uh, a book about the economy and about the um, cascading economic collapse around the world, or the near collapse, not collapse. The world hasn't gone into economic collapse. But it's about all these, it's about the, the near defaulting of several countries and what led to it and why why uh, Iceland is so important to the economy and all these weird things that I never thought I'd be reading. But hey, uh, somehow my brain decided to latch onto it. Movie. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm not going to go with the same letters all the time, no, but there is a T in conspiracy theory, so I guess this counts. Tank Girl is my recommendation for movies. Tank Girl. Yes. You're, you're probably looking at me going, huh, what? Tank Girl was a movie, ugh, it's almost 20 years old now. Um, yeah, it's, the, it's it's pretty bloody old. Uh, 15 years, I'd say. I don't know. I can't remember, but it was it was a 90s movie. I think, <laughs> um, starring Lori Petty, uh, it's Lori Petty, right? Yeah, as the uh, eponymous, yeah, it's, it, as the as Tank Girl, eponymous is the word, I believe. It's not the right pronunciation. I pronounce things wrong all the time. Yeah, it happens. Uh, but as Tank Girl, and it's based on a comic book, an older independent comic book, not like a Marvel or a DC or anything like that, but an indie comic, uh, but a girl in a post-apocalyptic world who finds a tank. So post-apocalyptic seems to be the theme so far. It's not going to continue, mind you. Uh, she finds a tank, and she uses it to fight water and power because they're evil. Yeah, she's got a kangaroo man boyfriend, and it's just bizarre and awesome. Back in the day, when I was building my DVD collection, I spent four bloody years looking for a copy of it. Found it down in the States, never seen it since, and then my DVD collection went missing. So, I don't own a copy of this movie anymore, but I've got to find one because it's fantastic in its goofiness and it's just creating an aesthetic that is all its own and just awesome. It's very much a comic book come to life. Uh, third recommendation for Suggestive Sundays is, well, television. And that I'm going to recommend White Collar. It's a sto the story of a man named Neil Cafferty, who is a con man and an art forger, who is captured by Pete. I can't remember his last name because it's been a little while since I watched the series, and man, am I an idiot. Who is an FBI agent, um, and then three years later, just at the tail end of you know getting of his prison sentence because they only caught him for a minor little thing, um, Neil escapes from prison to find his girlfriend, and instead of throwing him in for a longer sentence. Pete, the FBI guy, uh, 
manages to broker and, or, and arrange and agree to a deal where Neil works with the FBI as a consultant with a radio tag on his leg, helping, you know, solve white-collar crimes. It's very much true to its name, white-collar, except there is murder involved all the time. Oh my god, is there a lot. But it, it's twisty, it's fun, it's got a great sense of what it is. It, it's, it's very well written, very well acted, very fun. And that's my three recommendations for the day. Um, yeah, I'm not going to recommend anything else for you guys because you got enough in your lives. This has been your Philly by Life. Well, this is Shaq's on top of the fitness and top of the working out. Man, my abs hurt right now. Holy crap, do my freaking shoulders hurt from working out the other day, yesterday. Well, from the weights the other day and, and keeping the working out going. Oh my god, today it hurt to laugh. But that's okay because it's a good hurt to laugh. It's not like I ripped something. It's just building muscle. Hurt the fuck out of me but building muscle and that's what i'm trying to do so yes anyway as usual i've been the zero killer if you've got questions comments concerns or death threats put in the comments below hey that's a different hand below it should be this one below i'm not establishing rituals and routines or anything this is jazz hands for you anyway you heard it below comments put them there